Or from this side or from this side looks like we got a little ambrosia maple in here i think that's pretty cool to me okay so let's talk a little bit about this saw this is the steel ms881 uh, this is steel's replacement for the ms880 and that makes it the largest production chainsaw in the world um, this saw is about 8.7 horsepower about 121 cc's and about 20 pounds um, so it's a heavy saw but uh, for the amount of power it has, it's really not too bad. We also optioned this saw with a 41 inch bar, um, which it pulls just fine. But we, we wanted to get this review out to you guys quickly because uh, this is one of the first saws that we've seen in the United States. And so if you guys are thinking about buying a saw or just you know interested in this saw, I wanted to get this out to you guys so you can have a little bit more information about things that we like and we don't like. Um, one of the things we do like on this saw is the air filter. It has the new H HD2 air filter um, of steels. And it's supposed to be really good at filtering those fine dust particles in the air. And that's important to us as sawyers because when we're running this uh, chainsaw on a mill, when you're making rip cuts, you really get a lot of that fine dust. In the, and it's hard to get the saw you know, out of that dust. It's kind of immersed in the dust. Um, and so it's nice to have a good filter. You really want a good filter on there. Um, so it's, it's good to have that new steel HD2 filter on here. One of the parts of the air filter that we don't like is just getting it on and off. Um, it's kind of annoying get it on and off compared to the other steel saws. Um, it's a screw to, un to get this cover off and it kind of takes a while just to screw it on and off. And also uh, the cover is kind of just tough to get on and off. It doesn't want to fit in there real nicely. Um, but overall, it's not bad. You know, I'll, I'll take that for the, for the nice filter. Um, and then some other components of this saw is it does have a diagnostics port. Um, and that allows your steel dealer to run diagnostics on the saw and you know, when they hook it up to a computer and it allows them to make sure that if there's any problems with the saw, they can figure out what those are real easily. It also just allows them to make sure that the saw is running optimally, um, which is really nice you know, to keep your saw running well over time. Um, this saw also has the uh, decompression valve here, uh, which is you know, it's kind of standard now on most chain, new steel chainsaws, um, but it, you know, it's nice to have. It makes things a little bit easier. Um, and this, steel, this saw also, is equipped with um, these different, these, uh, I can't remember what they call them, there's these nuts that go on uh, the, the cover plate and they're integral to the cover plate so they don't fall, you know, they don't fall off when you take them off and so it's nice, it keeps everything kind of um, compacted and so you, know, you don't lose it in the middle of the field when you're, when you're making cuts. Overall on this saw, um, we're excited to see how it, how it works out on the chainsaw mill. Chainsaw milling is really tough on a saw and so um, the MS-880 was renowned for just being an absolute powerhouse and doing really well. So we're, we're hoping that this new MS-881 will be kind of in the same class as that MS-880 and uh, really do a good job as a workhorse saw. And, you know, we're going to put it in a tough environment and um, I'm sure we'll let you guys know how that goes, you know, after a little bit of time of running this guy in the chainsaw mill and see if he's uh, still running just as well as he is today when, as you guys saw him run through that maple. All right, I want to turn.